and so to complete our investigation of the Fuzzy Wigs Coronado Candy Factory, <clears throat> the lady here sold me some past due candy twice, and uh, it's made by Tootsie Roll, so I contacted them. They said once it leaves their factory, it's out of their hands. It's wholesome and fresh till the, the last drop. But what happens was she bought this from a distributor in New Jersey and the distributor sold her, at her request more than likely, some discounted candy, you know, for the holidays, save some money, past due. It's got nothing to do with the big company that makes it. It's all about the distributor. Well, I tried to get the distributor from her, but she wouldn't give that. She said, oh, they're very busy. You don't want to be bothering them, which gave me a big tell that she didn't get it. Uh, or if she did, she didn't want them to know. I think she bought it from some other place, you know, like a, a lesser, maybe a what they call a jobber. And the jobber is the guy who sells candy at a discount. And when you buy it, you, like if you're a tourist, you don't know and you're not gonna come back. But if you're a local, you're gonna know and you're gonna, like me, you're gonna come back and want your money back. Well, she gave me my money back, but with kind of like, oh, yo, it's the COVID, we can't get anything. It's, it's like a big mess around it. Turns out it's got nothing to do with COVID. These people are scammers. They're taking tourists, but they wouldn't get away with it with locals like me. Uh, but they get away with it all the time because no tourist is going to come back. They're going to throw the crappy candy that they bought. But these people are unethical. And we're going to not only boycott this, but we're going to have pickets out here and a flash mob. And uh, I beg them to sue me. I cannot wait. Thank you very much. Al Graham for the Coronado Clarion. Actually, it's the Worldwide Crime Watch that's doing this investigation. And by the way, I came back yesterday, or the other day, and they were absolutely rude and full of lies and obfuscations and reasons why they never got back to us. And so they did themselves in, and we'll be here until we get some kind of response from them explaining why they sold out-of-date candy. They do it all the time in little liquor stores. They buy junk crap and they put it on people. They, when they get it home, they say, ah, oh, and they never go back and try to get their money back. And, and these people know that. So, boo-hoo on you.